It's Madden 23 update season. You already know what time it is. We're going to get a ton of updates for the next six months. We've already gotten a couple and the next one is right around the corner. And with a game like Madden, there's usually never a shortage of things that need to be fixed, things that need to be tweaked, or just flat out some other things that need to be added to the game, period. Now, I've been paying attention to what the devs have been saying on Twitter. And from what I've been hearing, there's a lot of stuff on the table for this next update that will be dropping very soon. So let's get into it right now. The first thing we got to talk about is gameplay because that's usually usually the biggest part of most title updates is addressing issues with the gameplay. Now we've already seen them put out two patches or updates to try to address the broken offensive line in the game, which is really the biggest problem with the gameplay. For the first time in a while, Madden's gameplay really isn't that bad, at least not for most online players. Most online players are preferring Madden 23 to some of the previous years, and there's really not a ton of glaring issues. There's a couple, but the one main one is the O-line being maybe the worst it's been in 10 years. That's the one area of the game that is really overshadowing everything else right now, and while they have made it a tiny bit better with some of the previous previous updates, it's still so bad that it doesn't really mean that much. Yes, they've slowed the loop blitz down a bit. It doesn't work as consistently, but it still does work sometimes. So they only made the O-line marginally better. But the O-line is still having trouble with a ton of other defenses in the game and just flat out letting defensive linemen walk right in untouched. Now this is something that they're going to continue to try and make better throughout the year and continue to update and tweak, but I just don't think it's going to be one of those things that they're going to be able to make any drastic changes to because from what I've known for Madden over the years, when something is just fundamentally messed up, usually you can't fix it with an update. You can maybe band-aid it a little bit, you can make it a little bit better, but if something just has a big fundamental problem at its core that's something that usually needs an entire development cycle to be redone and made better kind of like how they did with zone coverage and tackling this year those two areas got a noticeable upgrade over the previous years because they worked on it for an entire development cycle and while neither area is still perfect it's much better than it has been the o-line is one of those areas that i think the same thing needs to be done they need to take an entire development cycle and really work on the o-line and make the logic much more better than what it is but yes they're going to continue to try to fix it and patch it throughout the year to try to keep the game in the most stable state possible but I just don't know that they're going to be able to make too much of a difference now really quickly before we continue on if you want to be up to date with the rest of the Madden 23 news all year long and also the news about the upcoming NCAA college football game and the upcoming NFL 2k arcade game that's coming out soon make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of those important videos when they drop now, outside of that, gameplay has been pretty solid overall, but there's a few areas that are going to likely be tweaked from what I'm hearing. Now, one of the biggest controversial things that, in my opinion, is making the game start to be a little bit worse is the aggressive catching. And I know this is a controversial thing because half the community loves aggressive catching. They want to win more one-on-one -on -one balls with their tall wide receivers, which is understandable. The other half of the community doesn't want this to happen too often because it kind of reduces the skill gap in the game, which is also true. Now, the problem with aggressive catching in Madden is it's always on one side or the other. It's never balanced. It either almost never works or it's super overpowered and easy to do consistently. And right now we've kind of swung in that direction where it's becoming very OP. And a lot of people have not even really begun to see just how OP it is, but it's slowly starting to catch on more and more each day where you're playing people online that are literally running four streaks and just trying to find the one on one, throw it up with a high ball pass. And there's there's a certain aggressive catch animation in the game right now that is almost impossible to defend and as the year goes on if you're an online player for sure you're going to see this more and more and more and very quickly it goes from something that yeah it should happen sometimes you should be able to win a one-on-one -on -one to okay this is just ridiculous this is the entire game and that's where it's going to go if they do not address this soon there's also some rpo glitches that have snuck their way back into the game i feel like rpos have been broken ever since they've been put into the game they've just always had something with them that it has been bugged they fixed them multiple times but it seems like every year like a lot of other madden issues it kind of resets and they creep back in the game the thing with the rpo glitches is that they're not really too widespread right now and i don't know if they will be because there's just other overpowered things in the game that people are probably favoring more than the rpo glitches right now but there are still a few rpo read plays in the game that the defense does not really respond well to the receivers on the field and they typically crash down and play the run every time no matter what so i do think that's something that's going to be fixed 
fixed soon as well. Man-to-man -man defense is also something that is likely going to be getting some type of a tweak soon because it is very powerful. Now, me personally, I don't mind it too much. I know how to beat it. It is very, very good though. There's just certain routes that should be able to win versus man-to-man -man sometimes and they almost never win because the defender just runs the route for the receiver on certain routes pretty much every time and that's just a little too one-sided. But with that said, there are still a few certain routes in the game that can beat man-to-man -man more times than not. So I don't really have a problem with it, but I do think it's an area that they're looking to kind of balance a little bit better. Cloud flats are also still kind of bugged in the game. It's the one zone in the game that really doesn't work properly. All the other zones play pretty darn well most of the time. Cloud flats and a Tampa 2 are the one area that, even going back to the beta, have just not been great. They're not completely trash, but they just don't get depth where they're supposed to on the field quick enough. They kind of backpedal almost in slow motion a little bit, and they just don't get to the area of the field that they're supposed to be covering quick enough, which allows routes to easily get behind them. So, so this is not something that needs some crazy overhaul or some crazy patch. They just need to speed up the back pedal for this zone coverage and it'll be fixed. And also there's going to be some ability balancing probably taking place as well. This is kind of more of an ultimate team thing where you can customize the abilities on your player and there's certain AP salary caps essentially for how much you can disperse these abilities throughout your offense and defense. There's going to need to be some balancing here because there's some that are just super overpowered and they're not really that expensive, whereas the counters for those overpowered abilities are expensive, so it's just not really adding up. So they're definitely going to be tweaking that soon as well. Now, when it comes to franchise mode, there's still a ton of franchise mode bugs in the game, and it's just really unfortunate because while they have been updating franchise over the last couple years and finally putting back some of the features that people have been asking for, the bugs have kind of been the main story, and I think it's starting to attack the online CFM a lot more than offline. At least that's what it seems like from the feedback that I've gotten, and it's kind of just a bad luck type of thing because half the people that play the game, it seems like they're having no problems with their franchises. Everything's running smoothly, and it's all great. But then the other half of people are having a ton of different issues that's almost making franchise unplayable for them. So it really does seem like it's kind of a bad luck thing. But regardless, it's still affecting a lot of players. Things like regular seasons going backwards, games not saving, problems with scenarios and importing draft classes, season goals, depth charts resetting, cutting players, signing players, progression, and more are all kind of bugged throughout various online leagues right now. Now, this is something that the devs have said that they are completely aware of and they are working towards fixing they haven't given an exact date yet but it does sound like with this upcoming update they're going to be some fixes there i'm sure it's not going to be all of them but franchise mode should be getting a number of these bugs addressed with the next update and the same goes for face of the franchise i know that this mode might not seem that popular but a good amount of people actually do play it and they're having issues in their modes as well a big one is that a lot of times players can't resign their next contract and stuff like that so that that is another thing that they're aware of and working on likely could be fixed with this upcoming update as well so stay tuned for that i did cover this in a previous video but there are some issues with some of the new equipment that was put in the game with some of the new helmets and face masks some of them just aren't sitting properly on the players some of them are too small some of them are kind of just disappearing even when you try to equip them in the menu all of that they're aware of and said should be fixed with the upcoming title update as well as new equipment could be coming as well that i'm not 100 percent sure if that's going to be in the next update it'll likely be sometime this year but they did mention a number of other helmets gloves cleats and things like that that they're going to continue to be updating and putting more into the game kind of like they have been doing every year for the past five or so years more face scans are also going to be on the way i know player likeness is a big deal to a lot of people there's still a number of big name rookies that are missing their face scans a lot of them did get their scans in the last update but there's still a number of them that are missing there's still a lot of rookies from last year who are now second year players who still need their updated player likeness as well there's there's also a number of veterans in the game like Fred Warner and Joe Mixon who just haven't had their updates ever. They just have a generic face. Now that, I, I don't know if that's more on the players at this point that they just don't want to be scanning the game bad enough to set it up with EA. But in terms of a lot of the younger players, they have a lot of those guys they still need to get in the game and they do have scans for. They just have not put them all into the game yet, but they're coming soon. So that's about what we know for the upcoming update. Just make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it. And check out this video right here on the screen. I went through every match with a cover athlete and scored a touchdown with him. It's pretty cool and I think you'll enjoy it.